Hey, welcome back to day four of 100 Days of Grace and Gratitude. I'm Megan Elizabeth from ByMeganElizabeth.com, founder and creator of She Makes Club. I'm excited for day four. I felt like uh, yesterday was a little bit kind of heavy for me personally, I guess just thinking about my sister. But man, what a contrast today when we um, go into what do you think about? What are the things that we are thinking about, thinking on. I'm going to do some highlighting today. These are the metallic Faber-Castell highlighters. I love these things. Um, and I love how, you know, yesterday I kind of mentioned and talked about um, a little bit about like the law of attraction and something that I've said for, oh gosh, since the movie The Secret came out, like in what, the early 2000s, <laughs> was the law of attraction is literally in the Bible. This is nothing new. God tells us over and over that when we think on his word and what we focus on expands and he's willing to give us the desires of our hearts when our minds and eyes are fixed on him and I think that gets missed a lot when we talk about law of attraction and it doesn't mean there won't ever be suffering it doesn't mean there won't ever be pain but what we think about literally changes the chemical makeup of our bodies. Uh, there's a book called Biology of Belief that I absolutely love uh, from a science standpoint on this, but I want to focus on God's word about what we think about. And last night, in the last couple nights, to be completely honest, um, I've been doing really great with my sleep for a little while now and like getting really good nights of sleep and not interrupted in the last like three nights. Um, I've gotten less than three hours of sleep a night and last night in particular I was like okay I just I really need to pray I think that there is just more going on I am stressing out about a lot of things and I need to focus on God's truth and in today's study um, in Psalm 119 verse 148 there's a couple different versions of this um, the CSB version says I am awake through each watch of the night to meditate on your promises and then the KJV version says my eyes are awake through the night that I may meditate on your word and um, I like the idea um, there's a version that says my eyes have gone before the night to study your word and um, the idea of staying awake in the night to meditate, to study, to think on God's word, God's promises, God's truth. And they apply across so many areas of our life um, to who God says we are. You know, it can be really easy to hold on to. And I've been so guilty. And I've even had well-meaning friends or family say, well, God calls you an adulteress for being remarried after divorce or God calls you this or God says this is sin and those things are all true those things God still calls sin just because God calls you forgiven which is what we need to hang on to doesn't mean we never sinned but when we forsake confess recognize humble ourselves we don't have to carry around the guilt and the shame and the I'm never going to be X, Y, Z before God because of it. Because God calls you forgiven. He calls you capable. He calls you worthy. He calls you chosen. He calls you lovely. He calls you um, pure before him. He calls you whiter than snow. So while we can make really bad choices, I've made horrible choices, sinful choices, choices that I even have known better throughout my life that God called sin and I knew he called them sin and I chose them anyway selfishly. It doesn't mean that they aren't still forgiven when they're recognized, asked for forgiveness and forsaken. And they don't need to keep us up with the anxieties of our heart all night, every night, day and night. What we focus on expands. And that's truly what the biblical law of attraction is about are we focusing on his words and whatever is true and noble and just and pure and lovely and commendable and of excellence and praiseworthy are we thinking about those things or are we thinking about the lies of the devil that come to seek destroy and kill and again just because we're meditating on God and thinking on his word and his promises doesn't mean anything on this physical earth won't happen to us that's not our ideal that there won't be grief or loss or pain or illness it's still a part of this life but we have a hope and we have a truth that we can cling to 
if we set our focus right. So today's um, prompts and promises, I just really, really, really enjoyed. There's verses in Ephesians that um, talks about God doing exceedingly abundantly beyond all we ask or think. And verses in Matthew that says, and whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. It's about coming to God with the, with the posture of faith, but the ability to accept and let go of the outcome, whatever it may be, to not cling so tightly about how it has to happen or has to work, that truly makes our lives a more um, peaceful it gives us that perfect peace um, actively. That's like our active participation in receiving and working and come along, coming alongside of God. When people ca- talk about co-creating with God, it doesn't mean you're overwriting God. It means you're working in his will, in his design. So you are co-creating your life from the standpoint of what he has already designed. You're just deciding to submit to it. And I know submit can be a really big, scary word for a lot of people, Christian or not. Um, And I know I've always said, you know, Above Ruby Studio by Megan Elizabeth, She Makes Club is not a Bible study site. And I still don't desire for it to be. I still want to just bring amazing DIY and cricket crafting projects and scrapbooking pages and telling our life and making a life we love together aside from God's word, but this is just something that's been so on my heart. There are hundreds of hours of video tutorials and um, live creative workshops and um, even uh, classes and workshops on how to use the Cricut inside She Makes Club that are apart from the 100 100 Days of Grace and Gratitude. And I am trying to separate it a little bit um, because I know wherever you're at in life, like I do honor where you are. Not everybody is here to read the word of God or to talk about Bible verses or spiritual things. And I just want you to know that like I get it, I honor and I respect you for it. But I hope that maybe, just maybe, there will be some inspiration to what we are making in the next 100 days. And again, it doesn't mean nothing else will come out of the next 100 days here at by Megan Elizabeth and she makes club she makes dot club and um, other places but I also am uploading just the meditative music versions not with commentary and me talking and um, giving my thoughts on these things over at my YouTube channel connecting to restore and those are going to be more based on Bible art meditations and journaling um, to kind of separate that but I just really had it in my heart that this is something that I need to do for myself the next hundred days and I'm sharing the journey with you so thank you for the honor thank you for watching I hope that you will take time to subscribe to like to share to check out the other channel um, because I still think there's some beauty that can be created with the different textures and mediums watercolor ink stamps um, stickers all the fun things we're using a lot of stickers today Um, but every day I have plans to use things that are a little different and um, maybe you'll just get a little bit of encouragement out of it and a little bit of light and a little bit of love and a hug to your day for the next 100 days. Again, I don't know that I will make every every day for the next 100 days um, full videos. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet because I need to be realistic, but I want to spend every day in God's word and this is something that I've been able to do in a relatively... um, short period of time each day so you know I know that things come up I mean especially in my life with health and accidents and everything else that seems to be uh, prone but I'm going to think about his word his truth and I'm going to focus on what we can expand and not not weigh in so heavy on what did I do to cause this were my thoughts wrong that made me fall down the steps were my whatever was I sinning that caused my son to be in an accident no I'm going to focus on God's truth that we are forgiven that there are things that are just lovely, pure, and right. And I'm going to pray those things over you as well. I hope you enjoy the moments today. Again, for the next 100 days inside She Makes Club, um, I wanted to offer that uh, trial opportunity for that it'll be a penny a day for your first 100 days or your next 100 days if you have already been a member or a subscriber or have uh, suspended uh, your membership inside She Makes Club. So I just wanted to um, offer that as something so you just go to she makes.club slash 100 days and in the checkout you're just going to type in 
the coupon code 100 days with a capital D and all the information's there. Enjoy the moments, friends. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.